Judge, did you find that boob for me to work on? Yeah, City Heat. There he is right over there. All dressed up like a plush sofa. <laughs> They've been having terrible time here. I wonder if anybody's been killed yet. No, I reckon not. They're just playing. Playing? Are they still playing? Yeah. You know, these Arizona cows are so different. Back in New York, we don't fight cows. We just milk them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the killer, the most famous bucking horse in Arizona. He has never been ridden by mortal man. We are offering a prize of $100 for anyone who can stick in the killer's saddle for 10 seconds, slick, scratch, and straight up. Who'll be the first to win the 100? But we mustn't forget our Arizona hospitality. The first opportunity goes to the stranger within our gates. A born horse wrangler, if ever there was one. <laughs> With the fighting blood of a buckaroo in his eye. <laughs> All right, mister, the killer is ready. Come on, fella, ride him. Well? Well, I I'd like to be nice about this, but I'm kind of sick. I think it's the altitude. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, mister, but the killer won't take no for an answer. Well, you can understand. It's my stomach. Sure, I know how it is. My partner here doesn't want to be bothered with a little squirt of a horse like that. Yeah. Maybe I can get along with him. Yeah. <laughs>
It's awful, isn't it? Oh, it's worse than that. If you stay out here, the cows will kick you, and if you go back, your uncle will kick you. It is a predicament. That's what it is, a predicament. You see, there's two of us Jim Traps. There's Uncle Jim Trapped and our nephew Jim Trapped. Uncle Jim Trapped got rich out here in the cattle business, went back to New York to enjoy it. He's getting old. Well, my sister and I are his only kin, and he's gonna make me his heir. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing, only he's turned against me. Oh, that's tough. Tough? It's plum uh, loco. You see, Uncle said to me, he said, Jim, instead of you going to Paris to study art, he said, you get out to Arizona and learn the cattle business from the bottom up. Say, you're lucky and don't know it. Lucky? What's the use of inheriting a cattle ranch if you gotta get killed to get it? Well, partner, that's something you'll have to worry about. I am worried. I'm 200 miles away from that ranch and I don't intend to get any closer. I got it. It came to me like a vision in just this minute. When a tramp starts to think, something always happens. You told me your name was Jim Travis, didn't you? Yeah. Well, it's still Jim Travis, ain't it? Well, so far you're all right. Well, my name is Jim Traft. Travis, Traft. You get it? Simple, isn't it? Sounds simple. Now, when you get to the ranch, all you do is show them this letter, tell them you're me, and from then on, it's just fine. Yeah, for who? For both of us. You get a hundred dollars a month every month, and I stay here and protect my health. But of course, you gotta come in and check up with me once in a while. Sorry, your partner, but I got a little business of my own to attend to. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't go away and leave me like... How, how about a little snifter, huh? Uh, drinks, 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 drinks! Dr drinks a drink. What do you have this time? Well, uh, what have you got? Whiskey. We'll take whiskey. You know, you saved my life today. You ought to do it again. Just listen to this. Wyndham Watkins, foreman, Trapp Ranch, Flag, Arizona. Dear Wendy, this will introduce my nephew, Jim Trapp. That's me. I want him to learn the cattle business. Did you hear that? Got a spoon? Got to feed this fire water to the little fella in small doses. A couple more spoons full, then he'll be yelling for a tomahawk. And I want him to take charge of the building of the drift fence across the range under your watchful eyes. Oh. Hey, what's a drift fence? It's a place where mama rattlesnakes hang their babies to keep greenhorns from biting them. Was he fooling? A drift fence is something cattlemen sometimes put across the range to keep rustlers from stealing their herds. Oh, well, does it work? Well, usually there's a cattle war. With the cattlemen killing off the rustlers or the rustlers killing off the cattlemen. I know it. It's a trap. I come 3,000 miles to build a drift fence so that this man Jackson can kill me while I'm building it. Who? Clay Jackson. It says right here he's the head of the cattle rustlers. Jackson. Maybe I can use this after all. Boys, I've handled bucking horses and even mountain lions in my day. But I'm telling you, this idea of teaching the cattle business to a city dude gives me the shivers. Ah, oh, steady, Wendy, steady. We've been friends, old Jim Trask, for a good many years. We come over to help you get his nephew started out right. Besides, you know, it's old Jim's money that's building this fence. And that's going to help all of us. Pretty easy. Well, you gotta get used to him. You're lucky he ain't twins. Gentlemen, 
Mr. Jim Traft of New York. Good morning, gentlemen. Glad you got here all right. Used to hear your uncle tell about you. And my name's Wilson, Bev Wilson. These boys, old friends, your Uncle Jim's. They own the joining ranches. How do you do? Howdy. Well, uh, I guess you know why I'm here. Oh, yeah. Now, your uncle gave us a general idea. Uh-huh. Well, uh, is there anything about the situation that you think I should know at this time? Oh, not to mount anything. Except for the past year, our cattle have been disappearing too fast for comfort. They got 50 more last night. We're fencing the range, and the rustlers down the brakes don't like it. They got a leader named Jackson. He's a smart umry. And he's got a lot of good, tough gun hands to back his play, and one of them, Slinger Dunn. And you want to know what that means, even in New York? Why don't you have them arrested? Well, uh, you see, the uh, fact of the matter is, uh, we've just run out of sheriffs. We're trying to elect one now. The well, last two we had got shot up down yonder in the brakes. Brakes? That's what we call a rough wooded country that leads down from the grazing land. Well, uh, uh, what part in this do I play? Well, uh, for a while we thought that uh, maybe you'd just better stick close to the ranch house. That is, till you sort of get bridal wise. But Uncle Jim wanted me to help build the drift fence. <clears throat> well, <laughs> your Uncle Jim always was a very smart man. <clears throat> Maybe he was right. <laughs> I, I guess I'd better get a, another kind of hat or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. most anything's liable to stampede cattle. Come along with me and I'll rig you up with some wearing clothes. Uh, better give him a gun, too. A cattle, though, some of them are loaded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. <laughs> all right. Oh, I think we all need a drink after that. <laughs> oh, Clarence! Hey, Clarence! Me savvy, Mr. Vev. You like it, the ling? Yeah, a big one. Come inside. Me catch some whiskey. Plenty click. Now you're looking all right, almost human. You just keep your eye on all Wendy, and pretty soon you'll be acting all right. Thanks, Wendy. I begin to feel better already. I always say it ain't so much what you can do as what folks think you can do. <laughs> and that goes for everything. Until you reach for your gun, reckon I ought to show you something about this. I'd appreciate it. Well, um, wait till I get something to shoot at. All the good shooters in the West learned on tomato cans. Now, the first thing's to get your gun out quick. If you don't, you won't need to know how to shoot. Mm -hmm. Be too late. Like this. Then you shoot the second your gun clears the holster. Watch that tomato can. Well, that's a general idea. I see. You try it. Pretty good so far. Was that an accident? Beginner's luck. Oh. There you are, boy. Not bad for one night's work. I'll say it ain't. Them buyers of the railhead says they'll take all the cattle we can push up there. If they're as good as the last bunch. There's plenty more fat stock where them come from. Provided we can get them out before that drift fence cuts off our supply. Slinger Dunn says that drift fence ain't ever coming through. What'll it be, Born? Whiskey. We gotta be careful how we handle Slinger Dunn. He's our best bet in fighting the drift fence. And it's up to us to back his play. Slinger will be all right, as long as he thinks it's a fence war. Just keep him remembering that the Duns have always fought to protect their grazing land. If he ever finds out about our little private business, I don't want to be around. Well, we can't let that happen. 
Slinger's old-fashioned. Still believes that cattle men should raise their own cattle. <laughs> My idea is let the other fellow raise them for me. <laughs> Hello, Slinger. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. No, we're just sitting around. Well, while you're sitting around, Jackson, maybe you'd like to know. Traff's outfit pushed that drift fence five miles in the last two days. Then they must be nearing the head of the break. That's where they are right now. Old Wendy Watkins must be trying to show off in front of young Jim Trapp. Never knew him to work so hard before. What are you going to do about it, Jackson? Slinger? I want you to take some of the boys and ride over there. Tell that trapped outfit to stop right where they are. They're through and don't know it. You mean that? Exactly. Well, it's about time we took our stand. All right, Sam. You too, Sam. Let's get going. That means there's going to be big doings. It had to start sometime. Hold it. He's off. <clears throat> A shame that old steer couldn't have lived long enough to see how good he was going to smell. Yeah, let me show you an easier way. Give me a pair of pliers. Mm, that's a pretty good trick to know. Guess you learned that fooling around them pink tees in New York. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose that's where you learned stringing barbed wire. Yeah, we used to practice running it around the parlor. Well, maybe you'll wish you hadn't learned about fence building when you meet up with Slinger Dunn. Well, uh, what about Jackson? Isn't he worth meeting up with? Oh, I've never seen him myself. They say he sticks pretty close to the mountains. Only comes down to West Forks when there's some cattle stealing to be done. I'd sure like to see him sometime. Hey, you've got strange desires for a city fella. Well, I'm funny that way. Well, every man do his own fun. Most folks that hit this country are either running away from somebody or after him. Meaning you haven't quite figured me yet. Maybe you'd like to know. Oh, no, no, not me. <clears throat> no, don't tell me a thing. I'm the sort that likes quibbling with curiosity. I guess you can start quivering just about now. Hello, Slinger. Uh, step down, we're eating in a minute. I want to talk to Jim Traft. You can start talking, Dunn. <clears throat> Traft, I've come to tell you this fence ain't going no further. This range ain't never been fenced, and it ain't ever going to be. Now, it's all right for old Jim Traft sitting back there in New York and running his outfit by mail, but he knows better than anyone. If this fence goes through, it cuts us little cattlemen down in the brakes out of a living. If they'd quit stealing cattle down there, we wouldn't have to build this fence. You're new in this section, Traff, so I'm going to let that pass. All I'm telling you is you're through fence building. That all? That's all. All right, Wendy. Let's get to stretching this wire. My pappy was right. I should have been a sailor.
Mr. Slade. You'd better get a liking for the taste of that stuff. What is all you have to live on when that fence comes through? I reckon there ain't gonna be any fence. So, you're going to do something about it, aren't you? I was wondering how long it would take you lazy, good-for-nothing men to get riled up. Now, in my day, I... Yes, I know, Granny. My dad got killed the last time anyone tried to build a fence around here. Yes, and your grandpa, too. Both on the same day. But the fence didn't go through. That's the kind of men we used to have. I was hoping you'd be like them. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I served notice on Jim Traff today that his fence wasn't to come one foot further. Oh, so you told him to stop, did you? And I suppose that Traft outfit packed right up and went home as soon as you told him to. <laughs> uh, Molly, oh, Molly. Yes, Grandma. Hurry up with that grub for your brother. He's all worn out, making faces at Jim Kraft's cowboys. <laughs> So you saw young Jim Kraft today? Yep. What'd he look like? I hope he ain't nothing like that old baboon uncle of his. Yeah, he ain't so bad as you'd think. If he was on our side, we might even like him. Now, Jackson thought if we warned Kraft first and made it strong enough, well, we might not have to tie into him. That lazy Jackson. If he'd spend more time stopping the fence instead of hiding out in his cabin, we'd get along faster. Well, you can trust Clay Jackson to outsmart an Eastern man when it comes to country like this. That's what I think. And I'm depending on Jackson. And I'm depending on no one but myself. I've hung on to this ranch most of my life. So you and Molly can amount to something. Oh, Grandma. It's nothing. Just a little in indigestion. They call you Slinger because you can throw a gun faster than any man around here. And I taught you how. So you know what to do when the time came. The time is here right now. And if you men don't do anything, us women will. Don't worry, Grandma. We'll stop them. <laughs> Part of the good book that I was raised by says, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. And when it comes to range fences, them's my sentiments. The fence is still up. Oh, well, part of it anyway. It was cut in two or three places last night. Well, maybe the cattle broke through. If they was cattle, they're smarter than most I've seen. One of them hid behind a rock and shot me in the arm. Cattle don't usually do that, do they? Get back to camp. Windy will fix you up. I'm going to have a look around. isn't it? 
no, not exactly. I guess you must be Molly Dunn. They all said you were as pretty as a water lily, and uh, I guess they were right. My name is Jim Traft. You don't have to tell me that. Supposing my horse hadn't fallen, you'd have taken a shot at me. That's the way you treat girls in the East? Well, our New York girls don't go around cutting wire fences and shooting cowboys. Supposing you get out of that water, you're liable to get wet. Supposing you tend to your own business. I'll stay here just as long as I want to. And if you think you're going to build a fence along here, you're going to have to run it right over me. <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Miss Marley, and uh, if you figure on staying here any length of time, I'll come back. Maybe I could bring you a book. What are you washing your shirt for? We'll be gone before it's dry. I'm putting it on wet. It'll be dry when I get down there. You better keep back there, old horse. Half the time I can't tell whether I'm shaving me or you. Woo! What do you think you're doing? Clipping a mule? What do you think? You seem to be mighty busy, but what's it leading up to? Why, well, I thought you knew about it. Big dance and flag tonight, celebrating the election of the new sheriff, Pete Bingham. You haven't forgotten you're supposed to be building a drift fence here, have you? <clears throat> well, we've got to show up. It's a patriotic duty. All the boys from the breaks will be there, and it'll look bad if we don't show up. Well, all right, but you got to promise me you'll keep out of trouble. Oh, <laughs> just going to be a lot of fun. You ought to go yourself. Molly Dunn will be there, and no man's got a right to miss dancing with her. Sounds all right. You ain't taking no chances, are you? Not for that gang from the breaks in there. Never mind, Wendy. We got their guns first. Oh! <laughs> you here? Yeah, I, I just came up on business. Oh, I've got a great idea. Huh? Let's leave the dancing to the older folks. I've got a surprise for you. What are you going to do? Oh, don't be afraid. Come on. I'd like a dancer if you have one to spare. I have a partner for every dance, Mr. Traft. Not one of them is a fence builder. When I get the fence finished, I'll ask you again. If I'm not too old then, I may dance with you. <laughs> <laughs> Barbed wire ain't popular here tonight. Oh, I just saw him. Why, he's perfectly handsome. And Molly Dunn said he was so homely. Oh, who's handsome? That young Jim Traft. Yeah, well, so was Sutton Bull, and he had his feathers on. Oh. 
He must be wonderful. Hello, Mr. Trapp. Well, Sheriff, congratulations on your election. Oh, I, I gave up a job some time ago, but they, they coaxed me to take it on again. County uh, turned tough on them? Yes, after that Jackson fella came. Is uh, Clay Jackson here tonight? No, very few people ever see him outside of his own gang. You know, I had a funny idea that maybe you know him. I can tell you better after I've run across him. Now, the next dance is what all you wallflowers have been looking for. Gentleman's choice. Pick out the girl you like the best. Just pat her on the shoulder, and she's got to dance with you. All ready, boys? I make my own rules. Now you get out of here. And that goes for every man in the Traft outfit. This dance is in honor of my brother, Peter Bingham. And I'll hogtie the first one of you coyotes who tries to break it up. <laughs> Mr. Watkin and me will now lead the Grand March. I wonder Tony didn't show up for grub. That's as neat a job of creasing as I've ever seen. How bad? Oh, he'll be all right in a few days. Suffering from shock now. Gunner's bow didn't get a chance to fire. It takes a quick hand to beat Tony. I'll be tending to that part of it. You fellas take a blank and rig a stretcher. Get him back to the ranch. Did you notice where the fence was cut? Yeah, I'm going to trail those tracks. Darkness gives me the creeps. It'll be dark for me soon enough without practicing. Now, don't you talk that way, Grandma. You're going to be around here a long, long time yet. Maybe so. Maybe so. You never can tell when a gun's going to misfire. I'm getting that way. This fence business... I know. Now, you quit worrying about that fence business. I'll take uh, care of that. Come over here, buddy. Where's Molly? Outside somewhere. It ain't only that drift fence that I'm worrying about. It's that girl. She's getting old enough to get married. 
And these men down here aren't very kind. Well, what's the matter with them? Oh, they're a low, down, lazy, good-for-nothing, shiftless lot. The most of them come here in a hurry to get away from a couple of sheriffs. Well, I'm always looking out for Molly. You can't go around shooting every man for making eyes at your sister. Well, what about Jackson? Oh. He's crazy about her and he's different. He's not our kind. It's just handy to put up with him right now. Now go get me more of that medicine. Not yet, Grandma. It lacks half hour of your time. Now, the doc said that stuff had an awful kick in it. I need a good, stiff kick. Don't argue with me. Go and get it. That's a good boy. <laughs> Sit down, buddy. Why didn't you shoot him? That's what you came for, wasn't it? He shot Tony. Thought I'd better see him about it. He was taking a shortcut back from Flag with medicine for my grandmother. Tony wouldn't let him through the fence. We don't call that a sin around here. Maybe not. I'll just see you to your horse in case you try to change your mind. You better go. There's a couple of things I want to tell you. Now is a good time. There'll be a lot of trouble before this fence thing is finished. There always is. I'd like to see you and Slinger out of it. There's been nothing but trouble since you came here. We've got to stop this fence. It'll ruin us. You're wrong. Molly, it can't hurt you. But it will stop men like Jackson and his crowd. That's your side of it. Maybe I can find a way of taking care of both sides. You needn't worry. We'll take care of ourselves. Well, here you are, Sonny. Here's old Jim Trust's ranch. Too bad. Well, uh, I've come to make my home here. I've got to learn the cattle business from the bottom up. Who you? Uh, well, I'd rather not say. Oh, maybe you forget, eh? Well, what's the difference? I've got to learn the cattle business. Nobody here. Everybody go away. Build big fence. Better you go away, too. Well, but I can't go away. I've got no place to go. I've got to learn the cattle business. Too bad. Me teach you cattle business. All right. See him? Cow. You savvy? Yeah, yeah, I see. That's a cow, yeah. Oh, you pretty sauce fella. Yeah. I take you to the kitchen now. Huh? Very first thing, cattle man learn to cook. You peel potato for me. Peel potatoes? <laughs> I'm going out where they're building that big fence. That's fine. Plenty shooting. Maybe you get killed. Well, uh, where are the potatoes?
Staring at that fence through them glasses ain't gonna stop it. Wait and see. I'm through waiting. I come to tell you. The trouble with you, Slinger, you want to walk right up and start shooting when things don't break your way. Now, that's not being smart. Get them when they're least expecting it, and it'll do twice as much damage. When's that going to be? Just about now. When I crack down on the Traft outfit this time, it'll take someone smarter than Jim Traft to get them out. I'm going to scatter their cattle so far, they'll spend the rest of the year looking for them. Yeah, but what about that fence? Look here. They're tying the fence into this ledge of rock right here. Now, we come around here. That's it, boys. You can ease off. Well, that's the worst part of it. The rest will be easy. They'll have a tough time getting any more cattle down the brakes. This is good only as long as Jackson's gang lets it alone. It's up to you fellas to keep it standing. Well, my idea would be to look Jackson up right now and get it off our minds. You keep out of trouble, I'll attend to Jackson myself. Wendy, you and Curly would better keep guard here and the rest of us will get back to camp. did you round up? About a thousand head, I reckon. Best stock they've got. One more thing. After you get them down on the brakes, keep them running. Where do we point them? Let them hit the fence at the head of the brakes. Traff left guards there, and we'll run right over them. Right. I'm not going to keep throwing this at you all day. We're cutting in on it, Slinger. I don't want any part of it, Jackson. I was only stringing along with you trying to keep that drift fence out of the country. Cattle rustling never entered into it. I changed my mind. What are you going to do about it? I don't think you'll do much talking. If you start to spill what you think you know, nobody will believe you, because we've been working together too long. It won't be hard for us boys to convince people that the cattle rustling part was your idea. Come on, this is your end of the money. I'm not in on it. We're through, Jackson. No, we're not.
We'll always have you covered just as easy as that. Now, you're in with us, and you better not do any talking. You know, it's never a crime to shoot a cattle thief. And if you push me to it, you'll be the first one to discover it. I'm getting out of here, Jackson. I think it's a good idea. Take a little walk and get some sense into your head before that gun goes off. Then come back here and take this money. It belongs to you. Where's Jackson? Inside. You better come back. Perhaps this gang are heading this way. We got company coming to town. Who is it? The Traft outfit. You stay here with me. The rest of you boys cover both sides of the road. We let them have it from three sides fast. Talk to you a minute. Go ahead, Slinger. All right, boys. I've been wrong about a few things, mostly Jackson. You're riding into a trap down there. They know you're coming. We figured on that. Mind if I ride along with you? You feel that way about it? Let's get going. Spread out, boys. You haven't got an extra gun on you, have you? I'll reload that one. How's the arm? All right. That gun hand of yours seems mighty sunburned for a city fella. That's right. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you happen to have a Texas Ranger star about you someplace. You're getting warm, Slinger. Clay Jackson? When did you figure that out? Between the last two shots. We want Jackson mighty bad down in Texas. He killed a ranger, a buddy of mine.
Selena's late again. You better put his supper back in the oven. I'm having a caller, Clay Jackson. You don't want to see him, do you? You get rid of him. Where's Molly? Around. Where is she? Oh, she'll be back in a little while. I don't want you to go in there. Get out of my way. Hello, Clay. What brings you over? We haven't got much time. Start packing up your things. We're getting out of here. What are you talking about? We're picking up your brother and getting out of the country. I still don't know what you're talking about. Come on, we gotta get going. Things didn't work out right for Slinger and me. Jim Traff knows we stole his cattle. Slinger didn't steal anybody's cattle. Don't stand there doing nothing. I got plenty of money to take care of you. From the cattle you stole. I haven't got time to argue with you. Come on, get yourself ready. I'm not going any place with you. I expect you're going to tell me you're taking me. Well, go on and find out how much good it'll do you. Get out of here. All right, but you're going with me. All right. That's the way you want it. one I hope comes out that door. That's the fella. What is in this table for? He owns the place. He's boss. Huh? I quit. I go back to China. <laughs> I wish that my sister never sent me that wire telling me my uncle died and that I own this place. You'll be all right. Why couldn't you keep on running this place and I'll go back to Texas for you? I can. I got to check out the ranger service. Then I'll be back. Oh, we can handle things. Yeah. Well, how soon are you coming back? A couple of months. Well, I gotta be shoving off. I'll be seeing you. When? Oh, long about branding time. You'll like that. Yeah. I don't think I'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a long time, won't it, Jim? Not the way I'll be riding. <laughs> 